Hey guys, welcome to Pixel Talk. I am Corbin Stuckey. On this channel, I talk about anything pop culture worthy, and that includes movies, video games, and sometimes even comic books. And today, I'm here to give you a review on a comic book based on the Secret War storyline from Marvel, and that is Old Man Logan number one. Bathe in its glory. All right, so if you guys don't know, uh, Old Man Logan is a story arc for Wolverine that took place in the late 2000s, and it basically took place in a futuristic, apocalyptic Marvel universe where the Wolverine was one of the last superheroes alive, everyone else was killed off, and he was living with his family. However, at the end of the comic, due to unfortunate circumstances, his family was killed off, and after many years of not using his claws, he finally popped them out and killed a gang of Hulks. And then, he adopted a baby Hulk. It was very well received, I absolutely loved the original series, and when I heard that Marvel was bringing it back to tie in with Secret Wars, I was really excited, uh, and I read this comic, I was wondering how if it was going to meet my expectations, and after reading it, I can say the first issue was freaking amazing. Okay, so, this is an actual sequel to the Old Man Logan story arc. This isn't an alternate universe. Let me just, just get this out there too. Marvel has been bringing back the old events that we know and love, and so far they have not been the real events that we really appreciate. They've just been the names of the events, and they've just been different stories. Like Planet Hulk, for example, has nothing to do with the previous Planet Hulk series. It's just a new series revolving around a barbarian Captain America fighting a bunch of Hulks. It has nothing to do with the mid 2000s Planet Hulk. However, this is a direct sequel and I absolutely loved it. It was written by Brian Michael Bendis. He's a phenomenal writer, loved him in Ultimate Spider-Man. And the art was done by Andrea Sorrentino, and it is what makes the comic. Uh, as you guys probably know, Wolverine is a pretty mature, violent character, and the art displays that. When Wolverine is killing bad guys, there is blood. And not only does the blood add the effect of like, oh my god, this is horrific, it's also the grittiness of the art that adds to the horror of Wolverine. I mean, let's face it, we all love Wolverine, but when I was reading him in this comic, I was actually horrified that I actually liked Wolverine. I'm really excited to see the future of this comic, um, which is actually really surprising because I have not really wanted to pick up any of the previous other Secret Wars tie-ins comics after the first issue. Um, but I will definitely look more into this series. So yeah, I definitely like it. Marvel, you should make more of these. Old Man Logan, dude. So yeah, guys, that is my opinion of Old Man Logan number one. Comment down below what you think of this comic if you've read it yet. Like the video, share it, and please subscribe to Pixel Talk if you haven't yet. Also follow the Pixel Talk Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Links are down below. And if you guys are wondering how I'm going to be doing these comic book reviews now, um, I'm going to mostly pertain to movies and video games, okay? Um... That's just what the channel was made for in the beginning. Uh, however, I, the comic book thing is going to be more of a side thing, a, a more, something I do uh, for fun. Um, how I'm going to do it is basically I'm going to review the first comic in a story arc, you know, to give my first impressions of the story arc. And then once the story arc has ended, I will give you a full review of the story arc. Because I don't really like reviewing comics by their own. I like to review the full story, and I think that's how it should be done. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. I am Corbin Stuckey, and thank you for watching.